Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter, and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care, coming right here from Raleigh. In this episode, I would like to explain styes, which are blocked oil glands in the eyelids, which we see very commonly. The medical term for this is hordeolum, but many people just know them as styes. To better understand what is involved with a sty, let's take a look at the eye model where we can see just behind the row of eyelashes is a row of oil glands in the bottom eyelid and also in the top eyelid. When these oil glands become blocked or clogged, they can swell with inflammation and a small infection to cause a sty. This is noticed when people see a red bump or swelling on the eyelid, bottom or the top eyelid. Some people are more at risk for this than others, particularly people that are going through hormone changes or have particularly oily skin. Also, older people are at greater risk and some medications can increase the chance of styes. Most often we see this with certain types of birth control pills which can change hormones and make the oils more thick. When this happens in the early stages, one of the best treatments is to use a warm compress to try to get the sty to drain naturally. In order to do this, patients can take a clean cloth or a wash rag, put it under hot water, as hot as they can stand but they shouldn't burn themselves, and then put it over the eye for about four minutes. They will probably need to heat it up more than once in order to keep it nice and warm. But by doing this up to three or four times a day, those oils can be loosened and allow the sty to drain naturally. When it's red is the best chance to get it to drain. After that, if it doesn't drain, it may be a little bit smaller and turn into a small knot in the eyelid. We call this knot a chalazion, and this can take a long time to go away, sometimes up to six months or a year, but usually it would go away naturally on its own. However, this can be very bothersome to some people, and they may decide to come into the office for a procedure where we can cut and drain the chalazion to remove that bit of fibrous tissue that's left over in a bump in the eyelid. When people notice that they are getting styes frequently or recurrent, there's a few treatments that we can offer to help decrease the recurrence to make it less bothersome. They could use warm compresses and scrub the eyelids with a mild soap or a baby shampoo to help unblock the oils and keep the oil glands flowing well. Other people may need to use a mild antibiotic ointment at bedtime or even a possibly an antibiotic pill which can help decrease the recurrence. Many times people with styes can get them under control with these treatments. So if you have any questions about this please comment we'll be happy to interact with you and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.